Neurology is the most complex thing that we know, okay? So when we're first conceived and we're microscopic, our neurology starts off something called a neural groove. It's really, really tiny. It's microscopic. And it starts to grow, right? And, and then a brainstem grows from it. That's why the brainstem is genesis to our neurology. Everything starts from there. Our central nervous system grows around it. Our spinal column erupts. <laughs> and our entire peripheral nervous system flourishes in nine months. Let that sink in. In nine months, we went from something microscopic to the most complex thing that we know, which is our nervous system. So I'm an engineer and I'm looking at well, that's pretty complicated. There's gotta be a blueprint, because otherwise it'd be a hot mess. <coughs> Anybody ever build a house? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. No. Nope. <laughs> but I'm sure you had a blueprint. Even if you're a blueprint, guess what else you need? You need a supervisor <laughs> that knows what's going on to make sure everything's happening in the right thing. So I, I had a theory. I go, there's got to be a blueprint, and there's got to be a supervisor. There's got to be a regulatory process that makes sure this is developing the right way. So I started looking for it, but I couldn't see it in what was given to us. So I had to put my thinking cap on, put my software engineer's hat on, and started noodling on it for three years. <clears throat> And what I did was I developed some software programs, some machine learning programs that allowed me to analyze this data, these hundreds of thousands of sets of brain waves. And I applied some very sophisticated machine learning tools and things called Fourier transforms to understand what was happening, what was the blueprint of our mind, what was the regulatory process of our mind. And this process led to some remarkable, remarkable breakthroughs. Game-changing breakthroughs that have never been seen before in neuroscience. So the first breakthrough, the first thing that I deduced through this analysis was what I call a neurodevelopment sequence. I made that term up because it didn't exist. <coughs> and what it is for my process is, is, is the process from the neural group to adulthood is innate neural process and sequence, meaning that we're pre-programmed. So these neural development sequences, that's why our neurology develops all the same way. As a species, we all develop the same. We have the same blueprint. We have the same genetic blueprint. It's programmed by the by the big guy that made us all. Otherwise it couldn't work, right? So I had to find it. What is that development sequence? What is that? How are the, how is our pain mechanisms developed? How are all these different mechanisms developed? So over a period of 12 years, we've deduced the development sequence for all these different physiological, emotional, psychological processes. We've done that over 12 years. It's been a long journey. And this is the top secret. I don't share the software with people. People say, well, can you tell us? I'm like, yeah, can you keep a secret? Like, yeah, like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for sale. People are like, well, you can win the Nobel Prize. Don't need it. Because no. we're not, we're not, I'm not an academic. I'm not here to publish research. I'm here to help people. There's a difference. But this was a very insanely in-depth, complicated process. And if, I, and if I hadn't spent an, an inordinary amount of time becoming a computer programmer studying encryption and decryption for the previous 30 years of my life, I probably never would have been able to do this. Mm -hmm. So everything that's happened in my life has prepared me for today, has prepared me to stand in front of you today and share this with you. Nothing was by accident. Nothing was a mistake. Everything was exactly the way it was supposed to be so I could do what needed to happen and share this with you today. Think about all the variables in our lives. There's 250 people here. Think about all the variables in our lives, all the things that we've done and not done, the decisions we've made and didn't make, but somehow we all triangulated back to today to here. It's pretty incredible. It is. Five years ago, most of us didn't even know each other for the most part. And here we are today. So when we take a look at this mega data, this, this is so much versatility. And then I'll tell you another thing why this is so important. So three years ago, the really smart people at MIT want to understand the complexity of the mind. And so there's something called topography, which connects the different interconnections in our mind. And they use these supercomputers there, and they started mapping out the complexities of our mind. And the computer system tapped out, and they got to 11 dimensions of connectivity. Mm. Okay. Now, let me explain that. I don't know what 11 dimensions, we can't visualize it. 
But that's the, it's the most, when I say it's the most complex thing that we know, we know it because we can understand what it does, all the things that it manages, but we don't know our neurology. Everything in neurology is a theory. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. If somebody tells you something in neurology is impossible, they're lying because they don't know. So they won't replace their ignorance by saying, hey, I don't know, and let's go find out. Our mind is limitless. 11 dimensions of complexity is unheard of. When the Webb telescopes looks out in the universe and into the Big Bang, it's not 11 dimensions of complexity. It's three, maybe four. So what's inside <laughs> your mind is more complex than anything that we can observe in the universe. It's way more complex than anybody ever imagined. It's not simple. It's complex. But we figured that out. And the second breakthrough was I found the site supervisor. I found the foreman that regulates those different processes. This happened over a period of years and years and years. First, we found one sequence, then we found another one and another one. Now we've got 11 different regulatory processes that control everything from pain, through sleep, through stress, through focus. Every single product we have, we're regulating the neurological control of that function. And we're doing it without drugs, without electricity, without surgery. That's what separates us from everybody else. And again, this is proprietary knowledge. And all, the, all of these sig signals that we're seeing are just expressed as brain waves. We can call them waves. We can call them frequencies, because every wave is made up of frequencies, right? So it's, people say, well, what are brain waves? Brain waves are just a bunch of frequencies that came together and they create some kind of sine wave. So how do we assist it? So as I said, sometimes these processes get complicated and they get compromised and they get stuck. And they don't work as well as they should. So the only way to affect any wave is by sending another wave. It's mm -hmm. called quantum interference, ah. right? Destructive sense. interference is when it amplifies or restores That's a cool. wave, and destructive interference is when it flatlines and it makes it zero. That's awesome. Okay, but something you need to understand. These patterns we have in our mind that control pain and sleep and all the different functions, they're the same for all of us. That's why the patches work for all of us. They're pre-programmed in our neurogenetics, number one. That's cool. Number two, they're not learned. We're born with them. So our patch isn't creating a signal that never existed before. All the patch is doing is reminding our mind of what the signal is supposed to be. We're just recreating it. That's so cool. but it's not additive, it's restorative. Nice. Big difference. Wow. That's so cool. Big difference. And because it's remembering what it remembered, what it always had to be, this is why our products are never, never suffer from habituation. Habituation is when your body gets used to it, okay? So if somebody's taking a pill for pain, guess what happens after a while? Yeah. Yeah. You need more. And then you need more. And then you need and then it quits more. Working. And then you need more. Why? Because it's additive. Anybody ever try a TENS unit where it's electrical stimulation of your muscles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You start off at one, right. then three months later you're at two, and six months later you're at three, and then six, and you need a car battery afterwards because it's, <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> because your body is adapting because it's additive. It's additive. Gotcha. We're not adding anything where we're storing. We're getting back to factory reset. And factory reset always works the best, right? We know this. Because you never get tired of being at factory reset. Everything works great. When we have a car and the alignment's off, what happens? Wear and tear goes through the roof, mileage stinks, <laughs> everything breaks down sooner. Let's get the alignment back, gets everything back into alignment. And all of a sudden our body's energy consumption is better. Everything's better and better. So we, so we deduce these things. It took a long time. So how do we affect it? How do we send that signal to our mind to correct it? So we already know that our mind is receiving signals and frequencies all the time from our eyes, sight, from our ears, from our nose, from our mouth, and from our skin. So people say, well, it's really incredible. And I said, I'll tell you some incredible things that you're already doing that you're probably not aware of. So think about sight. Think about what our mind does. 
A photon of light bounces off of something and comes into our eyeball. Our mind processes it and it converts it into an image in my mind. I'm looking at Kathy. There's no little Kathy in my mind. <laughs> but my mind is recreating Kathy in my mind. How did that happen? How did our mind take a photon of light, which you can't hold, you can barely see it, I don't see anything bouncing off of Kathy right now, but somehow it's coming into my eyeball, my mind is creating an image of her. Now it gets even weirder than that. Okay? We all know that light is faster than the speed of sound. Right? So, literally and technically, you are seeing me before you hear me. Right? Mm -hmm. So how's your mind making that stereophonic? How's your mind coordinating both? No idea. Should be this. <laughs> this is what I said. <laughs> should be a Hong Kong movie. <laughs> it should be a delay. But it's not. Your mind is instantly coordinating something that's, that's thousands funny. of times slower, which Oops. is sound and coordinating with light. Your mind is doing it. If that's not magic, I don't know what it is. It's magic, it's magic right? And, and so we're giving, say, yeah, we can do that. No problem. Okay. Look, we're with me. Now, look at sound. Sounds incredible. We hook up electricity to some kind of sound generation to a speaker, and we put some frequency to right, generate sound. Right? And we hear it. It comes through our ears and goes into our mind. What's going into our mind? Can you hold sound? No. Can you see it? Not usually. Not with our visible eyes. But if we look to detect it, we know that it's happening. But then there's our skin, which is sending so much information to our brain. So we all we all know this. Anybody here know anything about light therapy? Yeah, lots of us. So we know that light affects our body, right? So it absorbs the light, sends a signal to our mind, something happens, and all this wellness and restorative stuff happens. We have one of the world's most foremost light therapists, Dr. Sylvia Katz, in the audience. If you want to learn about light, that's still. But we know, we accept that, right? We can't, see, you know, we can't hold the light, can't measure the light, can't weigh the light, has no weight, but it's affecting us and our skin is absorbing it. Great. Great, Jay, we already know that, thanks. What about heat? Can our skin absorb heat and tell us that it's hot and our mind processes something? What's heat? Can we hold it? Can we see it? Can we weigh it? No, but we sense it. Heat is just energy, yes? Right. We're in alignment, so our mind can perceive heat. We're in agreement? Yes. Never touch it. What about cold? Can we perceive cold? Yes. You know what cold is? Yeah. Absence of heat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the opposite of heat, it's the absence of heat. But we can perceive it, we process it. So we believe in heat, which is nothing, yeah? That it can affect our mind? Yeah. And we believe in cold can affect our mind, and it says the information was the absence of nothing. So we believe in nothing in the absence of nothing. So follow me? We're getting there, right? What I'm proposing is that our skin can send very complex signals that our brain can deduce and interpret. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's a proposition. This proposition actually has a technical name. It's called the pattern theory of haptic perception. I didn't make that up. Some really smart people thought of that. And the, and the, and the, suge and the theory is that our skin with its free nerve endings and all these different things can send signals to our mind that our mind can deduce. It's great. There's been a lot of research done on this. But here's a fun fact. In 1939, Dr. Rabin and Dr. Milborn at the University of Columbia published a paper and they proved, 1939, anybody here born before 1939? Okay, so we're all on the same page. It's a long time ago. They published a paper at Columbia University and they proved that every single cell in our body, ladies and gentlemen, every single cell in our body is receiving and transmitting a signal. Amazing. I'm not the first guy to say this. These two brilliant men won the Nobel Prize six years later for helping develop the MRI. Wow. Yeah, weird, right? That no one talks about it. 1939, they figured out that our entire body is an antenna. It's receiving and sending information all the time. 1939. 
before color TV. <laughs> wow. And they tell you we're talking voodoo. We're not talking, we're talking about science. Okay, so we hacked into that. We hacked it. We hacked the human perceptive model. We hacked it. We hacked and harness haptic perception. We used neural decoding of the human haptic response. We skimmed the brain and the pattern through haptic perception and frequency interference math to find free nerve endings and mechanoreceptors to generate compensatory signals. That's really complicated to say, hey, we figured out how to stimulate the skin to fix neural signals in our mind. Okay? People are like, exactly how, Jay? How is it exactly doing it? How is it exactly generating it? It's a good thing there's a lot of smart people in the world. So two of them live in California, Dr. Papatuku and Dr. Julius. In 2021, they won the Nobel Prize for Physiology and Medicine, and they actually discovered transducers in our skin that actually generate the nervous signals that goes to our mind. Mm. So there's no more gray. They won a million bucks. You think I should ask for some of them? <laughs> they won a million dollars from the Nobel Society. So we know now exactly the transducers that are, that are part of the solution. So who's the, what's the exact mechanism of action? Send them the Nobel study. Say, here, read this. They might not call you back. This is complicated stuff. But, so there's no disbelief around this. There is so much amazing science around this that it's validated. And what do we do once we have these products, we test them, we validate them in an independent study. So that's how this is working. So people say, well, Jay, what do you mean by a transducer? How does that work? So I'm going to give you a couple of analogies. Imagine that, you know our patch has those ridges, right? So think of those ridges as your fingers. Okay. Our skin are the keys to a piano. When the ridges, your fingers, touch the right keys, what generates the noise? What generates the sound? Was it the fingers or was it the skin? The keys. Yeah, the skin generates it. The patch doesn't. The patch is just the mechanism of triggering the response. Our skin is generating all the signals we needed to do. Interesting. So what we've designed in the patch are very precise ridges that generate the right signal. Hmm. Okay. You guys remember that little board game where kids called perfection? Yeah. We had to put those little pieces in the right shape. We're just putting the right shape against our skin that's triggering the response that's generating a signal our mind already recognizes. That's one analogy. There's another analogy that we're all going to know about this. Anybody ever have a vinyl record player? No. No. Okay. Is there any electricity in the vinyl record? No. What's it got? Grooves. Grooves. Yeah, it's got grooves. It's groovy. And there's a little needle, the stylus. There's no electricity in the stylus either. But when the record player spins, it vibrates the stylus. It stimulates the stylus, which sends a signal to the amplifier, our mind, to generate a signal. Okay? So, what's the difference? Our patch is the record player. It's got its grooves. And our skin is the stylus. It's generating the signal to our mind. We've been doing this a long time. This is not new, this is old. We've just harnessed the science in a very practical way that's never been done before. And that's why it's so exciting. But we're not done there because that isn't enough because the world demands more. What is the world demand? The world demands answers and solutions. So what have we done? We've harnessed the ability to stimulate our skin in a way that can help our physiology, our psychology, and our emotions. So, as I said before, every bodily function has a neural code, including breathing, walking, balance, pain management, stress, sleep, immune response, and others. These neural codes get damaged or stuck for a million reasons that lead to poor health, wellness, performance. The pattern and ridges on the patches are like QR codes that help repair the neural codes, allowing our bodies and mind to operate the highest levels. All the super patches have their own unique code. All 11 patches have a unique pattern. It's a unique pattern of stimulation that's helping our mind reset those neural functions. That's what's so unique. That's what no one else does. We're not relying on chemicals, ingredients, electricity, any of that. We're not relying on a lifestyle change. We're not relying on a dietary change. We're not relying on changing anything. Put a patch on it. Peel, stick, change your life, right? That's the advantage that we have that no one else has. So, take a look at it. So what does it mean? 
This is our brain, and this is our mind on VPT. We see this in neural mapping, we see this in brain mapping. We put the software headsets on, Sylvia's done a few hundred of these. You see a dysregulated mind, you put the patch on. This response is five minutes later. Five minutes. There isn't a drug, a therapy, a chemical, an ingredient, anything that can do this in the world. That's how my brain looked. At all. And we have it. We have it for our friends, we have it for our families, we have it for the world. This is why this is exciting. So how does it work? I always say it works great. <laughs> it works great. So we trigger response, put the patch on your skin, trigger response, it affects the body, the central nervous system, and you feel the difference. And feeling the difference, this is why when we do the demonstration, we are proving the technology works. So then no one comes back and says, well, it didn't work for me. But we did the balance test, right? So your balance and ability was better. What does that mean? That means you're gonna live longer. If you have better balance and you're an adult, that means you're going to live longer, not my data, global data. Proven, factual. Better balance equals longevity and vitality. Who wants to live longer? Yeah, we want to live healthier too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So why wouldn't we do this? Because, well, I'm not falling over. No, but you're gonna die sooner. <laughs> Sad, morbid thing to say, but better balance, better longevity. Why else do we take vitamins and supplements? Because we want to live longer, right? So no diet change, no supplement change, nothing. All those things are important. Hydration is important, water is important, stuff. All those things are important. But but tell me one supplement that instantly proves your balanced ability reduces your biological age in five seconds. Tell me one. Liberty. Not a supplement. Tell me one. There isn't. Not stem cells, not exosomes, not turmeric. Oh, my grandma says turmeric's the best thing ever. <laughs> none of that, none of that is gonna improve your balance, stability, strength, muscle activation instantly. Instantly, 31% improvement in balance, instantly, proven, tested, published research. 17% improvement in power. Don't take my word for it, there's published studies on the website. We can prove and claim, improve strength and power, improve balance, stability, improve pain and discomfort management, improve neural wellness, improve sleep, improve cognitive performance, and reduce stress. We can prove all of these through research. Done by really smart people at esteemed institutions. This gives us the confidence. We don't have to talk in code, <laughs> right? We've all been part of sometimes where we can't talk about the benefits. You can talk about the benefits. Why? Because we've got the proof. We have the proof, all right? We have the million dollar patch that can help you live longer. So studies show that the patch improves balance of strength, enhanced balance and grip strength, and recognizes biomarkers for longer living. 10 second balance test might predict how long you're gonna live. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. So when you do the balance test, let people know, say, listen, I'm gonna reduce your biological age. The reason I'm doing this is to show you that you can live longer and healthier. Because science shows that people have better balanced ability and live longer and more vital lives. Who wants that? You want a test? I want the test. I'd love to do this test. It's a great party trick. Everybody has fun, everybody wants to do it, right? That's why we do the balance test. It proves the tech, but it promises them higher quality of life, a better quality of life, right? That's why it's important. Oh, wait, there's more. So, the, so why are we so special? Why are we all here? It's 100% drug free, immediate proven benefits, over a million happy customers, FDA registered, amazing clinical trials, 30 day money back guarantee, made right here in the United States of America, in 95% positive user rating. FDA registered, what does that mean? That means we opened up the kimono to the entire FDA and said, hey, listen, please come check our product. The materials are approved and cleared. The adhesive is approved and cleared. This is, we have to, to sell a product in the United States that has health and benefit products, you need to be registered. So take note, we are an exempt class one medical device. Exempt class one medical device, okay? It's not a toy, it's not a gimmick, it's not a fad. This is a class one exempt medical device. So that means we have a lot of responsibilities to the FDA. And the FDA is concerned about safety. This is why we have the best, as Tom explained, the best FDA cleared 
manufacturing products. We have the, the process of the factory. We have the best FDA cleared and proved film that makes the product and the best adhesive. Everything top of class. That's why it's important. But to make the claims, you need the studies. Mm -hmm. Okay? To make a health claim, you need a study to back it up. That's why we do the studies. Because without it, we're exposed. Right? We're putting our livelihoods and the business and everything we're doing at risk if we don't have the studies. People always say, Jay, can I say this? And I'm low. Well, is it on the patch? Is it on the packaging? No, no, don't say it. What, what can we help with? That's what we can say. We can help with pain. Why? The study says we can help with pain. We can help with sleep. Why? The study says we can help with sleep. We can help with strength and power and balance. Why does the study say we can help with strength, balance, and stability? We can say that. We can help with cognitive performance. Why? The study shows we help with cognitive performance. We can say it helps with stress because it helps regulate the mood network. We can say those things without any reproach by the FTC and the FDA. We're in the clear. Okay? That's why we're different. That's our competitive advantage. People say, well, what's your competition? I go, eh, competition's for losers because no one's doing what we're doing. We took 14 years to make the best possible product. Now we've got to work together to make it the best known product. We've got to work together to do that. Because when products aren't the best product and they become best known, it's usually <laughs> faster than they rise and faster than they fall, right? Because why? Because there's no substance. And guess what? No one else is selling this. No one else has this. It's not on Amazon. No other network marketing comes and comes and says, well, we have our thing. Yeah, you have a patch. You don't have a drug-free solution. That's safe. Test it. I always say, where's your research? Where's your research? Because you know why? Because that's what they ask us. Do you have research? Yeah. You want to read it? Sure. They never read it. <laughs> it's okay. So here we have our solutions for sleep, mobility, focus, stress, ignite, pain. You name it, it's all there, all claimable, all validated, all important. And this is our competitive advantage, guys. You can proudly go to the market and say, hey, we have something no one else has in a way that no one else is solving. We're solving global problems, global needs with drug-free solutions in a way like never before. So this is, what's, this is the opportunity in front of us. This is our chance to change the world in a way that's never been changed before. So this is for you. This is for us. Let's take advantage of this, all right? Yeah, baby. Woo! Like, you know, there's a lot there. All you have to know is how to explain it in a simple way. So use those analogies, right? We've done that test. So people say, you know, Steve always talks about doing a simple test. How does your skin know? Your skin knows. Why? Because it's designed that way. It's made that way. Right? But now I've explained to you what the best product is. We have the best product and the best, the best tech. I met some amazing leaders in Europe, and there's some amazing leaders here, um, some new friends that we've made. And they say to me, Jay, these are people that have been in the industry 20, 30, 40 years, super successful, have touched all different types of products, and they say to me, Jay, this is the best network marketing product I've ever seen in their life. It works, it's proven, it's safe, it's instant, it's easy to use, don't need to change their diet, don't need to change their lifestyle. People wanna eat food, they don't wanna drink their food, they don't wanna do anything, they wanna make that simple stuff, right? Terry got me one time into this deal where I was drinking my three meals. Thanks, Terry. He's <laughs> laughing. I call him, Terry, you got a headache. That means it's working, I go, really? <laughs> 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 And the next month, the whole box of more of that stuff showed up, and I'm like, this is not good. <laughs> not good. Anyways, our stuff works, it doesn't expire. It works for everyone, it works. The balance stability test works on everyone. Yes. Yes. Every time, yes. every time. Yes. And if it's not, you did it wrong. <laughs> you made a mistake, so learn how to do it. The videos are online. Yes. Kevin, ever failed? You've been doing this for a long time. I've been doing a demo for nine years. Kids to seniors to professional athletes. I got David versus Goliath stories. You can watch over the video. Nobody can pass the demo. <laughs> Nobody. And, and 
I get to decide which one we <laughs> Okay, Kevin okay, knows. Kevin, go on. So this is about, we have the best product, right? So we've done the hard work. We've invested the millions and millions of dollars, countless hours. To make this deck, I'll give you a, a little perspective. Over the last 14 years, I've read 55,000 research papers. Oh my goodness. I've read 700 textbooks. From 20, 2008 to 2016, I slept four hours a night, <laughs> seven days a week. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Why? Thank you. Because every day we saw something that we didn't see the day before. I had to get to the light at the end of the tunnel. Why? My mom was counting on me. You get this to know about me. I never let go of anything. <laughs> anything. I never give up. I never quit. Ask my friends. I never quit on my friends. I never quit on my family. I never quit on a dream. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Because quitting, the minute we quit is the moment before we're going to reach our destiny. Right? The only thing with this industry is we don't know the when. But I tell you, if you put the purposeful effort in, it will come back to you. That's how the universe operates. When? I don't know. But it will come. It will come. Trust me. I was in solitary for six years before the first product was developed. It's easy to quit. But we can't quit. Can't quit. Right? So we've done all this work to make the best possible product. And I want to talk to you about making it the best.